had asked me to read your story. He used to love that. But the cold was too much for you. It only lasted a page or two, and I left your room. You're still sleeping. Never heard you come downstairs. You must have been looking for a glass of water or me. And that must have been when you heard it. The song. I mean, I heard a truck drive by and stop a few doors down, but I didn't think anything of it. It was an ice cream truck. How was I to know? But somehow you did. And you must have gone into the living room following that song. And that's when you saw it happen. Little boy. Not much older than yourself. Yeah. Uh, he was standing by the truck and something pulled him in. He was so scared. And you ran out to help him. Just like yesterday. <laughs> when I saw your bed was empty, I lost my mind. The door was wide open. There was a truck parked outside. I mean, I had no idea what I was getting into, but I just had to go. You said proof. But I lost the three of you. You said that you left because Grams wanted us to use our powers, and you didn't. That's the truth, but now you know the whole story. I mean, when your grandmother found out, I had just brought Prue back, but being your father wasn't good enough. I mean, how could I ever protect you from something like that happening again when I didn't have the powers? Okay, so the book said the ice cream man is mortal. That's why he can go through the door and we can't, right? So what do you say, Dad? We need your help. You know, if this doesn't work, I can look back and pinpoint the exact moment where it all went wrong. And that moment's name would be Dad? True, you gotta admit, if he can open the door, then we kinda need him. It's all about word choice, Piper. We don't need him. We need his utter lack of power, right? He opens the door, we save the day, we get on with our lives. It's a one-time group effort. Glad to see you have a healthy handle on the situation, Brooke. I think I do. So, yeah, I was surprised to hear from you, but why did you think that I wouldn't write you back? Because as far back as you can remember, I've done very little right by you. I mean, if a guy, let alone your own dad, walks out on you once, maybe you give him a second chance. But if he appears to make a habit. I never thought you left by choice, Dad. Thank you, Theo. OK, well, this is it. Uh, but there's nothing here. Wait, we lost the truck? <laughs> yeah, but we gained company. <laughs> oh, those kids still need to be grounded. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh, I don't get it. Ow. All right, why pick a fight and then run? Speaking of running, we should run because they're getting away. No, we can't do that because we have to get back into the truck. Not all of us. Come on, Piper. Nice work. All right, lost modes of transport are definitely not my forte, so... Prue, sometimes in life things happen for a reason, no magic involved. Your truck's been towed. Right. <laughs> <laughs>